Hello, welcome, Balian here, your friendly Skyrim streamer, and we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 mods of 2020 today. You can catch me every day on twitch.tv slash Balian, where I play Skyrim and these mods very often. But until then, let's jump in and have a look at my top 10 right now. The first mod on this list is probably my all-time favourite mod. Requiem is a total role-playing overhaul to Skyrim. It drastically changes Skyrim to its core, rebuilding many of its base mechanics to create a truly unique experience. It sometimes is labelled as a hardcore overhaul, and yes, it does make the game a lot more challenging, but it does this through realism and subtle changes that have you investing hours and hours into this new experience. If you've never played with or even heard of this mod before, it can totally change the way you approach and play Skyrim, but be warned, the game will be significantly harder. Requiem creates a deleveled world, which means that nothing scales with your character. You start off as a frail nobody and work your way to the top. Things like race play a huge factor, as your stamina, magicka and base skills are now more important than ever. Racial abilities and starting skills are also lowered, and if your race is naturally gifted, all of your skill trees will start at 5, and level much slower. You will need perks to understand how to do basic things, such as lockpicking, alchemy, enchanting, and even being effective in combat. It is not as complex as some other perk overhauls, but every choice matters in how you advance your character. Even heavy armor cannot be worn without the appropriate perks, and the penalties for it in terms of spellcasting and stamina drain are significant, but so are the advantages in being an armor clan warrior. It is very much a role-playing overhaul. Mages can't wear armor without significant skill levels, and characters cannot sneak without appropriate perks. The idea is that you're a complete novice at your lowest level. As well as perks, races and skills, Requiem overhauls many other things, including cooking and alchemy. Food becomes really important. Stamina buffs are essential for low-level characters, as well as magicka buffs for those who are casting spells. Potions no longer heal instantly and apply an overtime effect, and they cannot be stacked to heal quickly in combat. Combat itself is a much more visceral and intense experience. The damage you give and receive is a lot higher than vanilla Skyrim, but this also has a deep set of mechanics behind it, including stamina influencing the damage you give, receive, and how fast you can move in combat, and if it falls too low, you may even drop your weapon. All weapons have a weight and feel to them that is just not experienced by any other mod. Combat feels real, dangerous, and at low levels, deadly. It is hard to describe what Requiem Combat feels like without playing it for yourself, but it is an experience that is unlike any other, and no combination of mods have been able to come close to recreating it, which is why so many people are still playing Legendary Skyrim just for Requiem alone. The experience is this, you start out as a low-level noob and have to be careful about the way you navigate the world and the encounters you come across. You truly do get a sense of achievement and scale as you increase in power and become stronger. The core quests are not changed and it also adds a whole bunch of new spells, weapons, armor and items to add to your experience. It is the most balanced and comprehensive overhaul and that is why it takes the number one spot. Number two on this list is a mod that you may not have heard of and one that I still can't play without. Weapon Parry Standalone is a combat mod that used to be part of a much larger combat overhaul and adds a simple change to combat mechanics. If two people swing at the same time, the hit is automatically transferred into a block, or a parry. This adds a small immersive change to combat that is not only useful and helps add to the realism of combat, but it mixes up the animations to keep things fresh. It is still a must-have combat mod in 2020, and one of those pretty little gems that you can find. I highly recommend you go, download, install, and check out this combat mod now. Mod number 3 is AH Hotkeys, a mod that is still unbeaten in its versatility and utility in your Skyrim install. AH Hotkeys allows you to do many things, and it is really up to you how creative you want to be. At its core, it allows you to assign any function in Skyrim to any key on your keyboard. You can even group functions together to make as many things happen as you want when you press that button. For example, queuing up all your health potions so that when you press a button, AH Hotkeys will drink a potion for you from a list of potions that you create. You can add spells to hotkeys, MCM functions, even armor sets. Or even do simple things like unequip your left hand to remove a spell or weapon you no longer want there. It is a robust and versatile mod that also includes auto or casting functionality and a whole bunch more. If you're looking for more hotkeys, complete customization, then there is no better hotkey mod for Skyrim in 2020. Number four is my favorite magic mod of all time, Forgotten Magic. Rather than add a large amount of spells to the game, it focuses instead on adding eight schools of magic. Within these schools, there are five to six spells, each of which are unique and can be upgraded with perks the more you use them. Each spell has around 10 perks to choose from, but as you level them up, you can only pick five of these. 
super schools include things such as pyromancy, warlock spells, paladin, druid, and many more. As you start to acquire perks, you will also notice that a lot of the spells and perks work together within that school. Some have effects that will trigger other perks from other spells, and you can start to create some really cool combos. The spellbooks are scattered around the world and added to the level lists, so finding one helps create interesting and immersive gameplay content. At higher levels, the spells are very powerful, but the mana costs of each spell are adjusted to help keep things balanced. This is a fantastic and excellent approach to magic and really helps with building characters as you can dedicate yourself to a school of magic and have a whole new way to play Skyrim. You can even gain affinity in any of the schools of magic to increase your effectiveness. I still have yet to find a magic mod that fits in so well with the leveling and character creation process, so it takes the number one spot for best magic mod and number four on this list. Number five is a wonderful little mod that helps increase immersion across the game. Animated Eating Redux is useful for people who, like me, play with their needs and survival mods. This simple mod changes the game so that whenever the player or an NPC begins eating or drinking, it will show the exact item they are consuming, whether that's salmon, wine, or ale. Normally, everything is replaced by the default bread loaf, so this small mod is a nice change and something that is a must-have for myself in 2020. Number six is my pick for audio and music overhaul. Yggdrasil is a music and effects overhaul for Skyrim that not only changes the music throughout the world, but also the sound effects for many things including leveling up, discovering new locations, completing quests, and many more. If you're going for a dark, brooding Skyrim, then this is the music mod for you. It gives the whole game a Viking feel and includes music from great artists such as Hale Young, Paleo Wolf, Runefell, Nitland, Danheim, and many more. It really helps to create a dark and tense atmosphere and is my pick for music overhaul in 2020. Number seven is another fantastic utility mod called Smartcast. Smartcast is a game changer when it comes to magic in Skyrim. There are a lot of ways to use this mod, but it covers auto-casting of spells under certain rules, activating spells to special spell rings, hands-free casting, and a lot more if you can get creative with it. Some ways I like to use this mod are to activate light and night vision spells at the touch of a button, Auto-cast mage armor spells in combat, cast summoning spells without having to put away my weapons, activate buffs and debuffs without having to switch to a different spell, and even assigning certain powers to be able to be used without selecting them from the drop-down list. It is a really diverse mod that lets you cast and activate magic without having to have a spell equipped, and not only does this open up new types of characters for you to play, but takes away a lot of the headaches and annoyance associated with magic. It turns being a mage into a smooth and easy experience where a plethora of magic lays at your fingertips with easy to use functionality. If you play a mage, you should have this mod. If you've never played a mage, get this mod and it will probably change your mind. It is a one of a kind mod and that is why it's still on this list in 2020. Number eight is a relatively new mod called Skyrim Reputation. At its core, what this mod tries to achieve is a world in which your actions, choices, and general gameplay affect the relationship of those around you. I have not had a chance to fully test out everything this mod has to offer, but its changes include changes to the default NPC greetings and passive messages as you pass by, an in-game reputation system with over 100 different titles for your character to gain, new subtle perks, changes to the vendor prices, infamy and fear amongst the common people, as well as changes to behaviors based on your vampire and werewolf status. In short, it creates a more believable world for your Skyrim character. If you help other people and are a general do-gooder, people will admire and respect you. If you steal and murder, they will fear and hate you. It's these series of subtle changes that make each Skyrim playthrough even more unique with this mod, and there are so many things to discover that it would take several playthroughs to experience them all. A great mod in 2020 to dynamically diversify and change the world around you. Number 9 is the first visual mod on this list, Skyrim Landscapes. Skyrim Landscapes is a mod to have in 2020, not just because of its impressive visuals, excellent 3D modeling and texture work, but because of what it does to the world around you. Not only does it add new plants, trees, and grasses, but also changes the appearance of existing ones, including all of the alchemy ingredients in the world. This gives a fresh new take on Skyrim and is a wonderful addition to your mod list. Not only this, but it adds new environmental changes that reshape Skyrim around you. It adds rocks, trees, bridges, and obstacles where there used to be paths. It can give you a fresh Skyrim experience and make some areas feel like an entirely different place. Number 10 is a combination of three mods that I call the Combat Package. TK Dodge, Mortal Enemies, and Attack Commitment all work together to overhaul and change Skyrim's combat. They do not modify damage levels or adjust any numbers in any way, which means they are completely compatible with almost every other overhaul. 
Mortal Enemies takes away the ability for enemies to lock onto and follow your character as you move and evade, creating dynamic opportunities to just maneuver out of the way of the weapon swings and counter. Attack movement prevents the player and NPCs from changing the angle of their swing once it's begun. It's a little hard to get used to, but once mastered really adds a sense of realism to combat, enabling you to bait enemies into missing, but it also ensures you aim each attack precisely, as missing leaves you open for a large window to be hit. TK Dodge gives the ability to use a hotkey to dodge and evade strikes. This allows you to move aside when backing up or caught in a bad position. It helps limit the frustration and death in combat where you felt you could not escape the attack. Together with another mod such as Requiem, combat becomes a dynamic, fluid and realistic experience where you're able to dodge, feint, draw out attacks and counter, rather than just swing until enemies are dead. These three mods work together perfectly and are a must-have for any mod list in 2020. So there you have it, the top 10 mods to play in 2020. My mod list is far more than 10, let me tell you that, and I stream that mod list basically every day on Twitch. You can come on over if you've never been there, twitch.tv slash Balian, come on by, and if you enjoy the YouTube content and want to see more, don't forget to sub, and also you can subscribe on Patreon as well to support me a little bit further for more YouTube content and videos like this. But I hope you enjoyed it, let me know if you have questions, keep on Skyriming, and uh, there'll be more like this in the future, so don't worry. Stay tuned, and thank you very much for being here. Have a good day.